Now that's um, all solar. If you look carefully, you can see the, the solar cells. So the, that house is also solar. The solar race is on in a fierce way to rapidly boost the renewable energy industry. Recently, Elon Musk revealed an incredible power cell never seen before. This innovative technology costing less and providing an endless flow of energy. If you're anxious about the new cells, then wait no longer because all will be revealed in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back. If you're new, we'd appreciate it very much if you would support our channel by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. As you know, the standard silicon photovoltaic solar cell is the black and copper solar panel that you can find on suburban rooftops and solar farms that were born and raised in America in 1950. Currently, 90% of the world's solar panels are made from crystalline silicon, and the industry continues to grow at a rate of about 30% per year. Now, what have we told you about a material that is lighter and simpler to manufacture at a lower cost? It's an inexpensive solution that can make an efficient cell. These photovoltaic cells thin enough to power a house are called ferroelectric crystal cells. Strong demand coupled with production glitches has pushed the price of key materials, mainly polysilicon, for solar panels to the highest level. The cost of the most expensive grade of polysilicon rose to $40.62 per kilogram, surpassing last year's high of $40.34. Polysilicon makers take the 99% pure silicon metal and remove impurities until it is 99.9999% pure. As the silicon rods are forming at the center of the reactor, the reactor walls need to be kept cool to prevent the silicon from crystallizing there. Maintaining that temperature difference is really energy intensive, prompting Tesla to find an alternative to silicon. The energy generation of ferroelectric crystals in solar cells can be increased by a factor of a thousand thanks to a new innovation involving the arrangement of thin layers of the materials. Ferroelectric crystals differ from conventional silicon cells in that they do not require a PN junction to create the PV effect. In other words, there is no need to create positively and negatively doped layers within the cell. The researchers said that change could make solar panels easier to produce. Raw materials for the production of this new cell do not need to be mined from the earth. It is any material with a crystalline structure, so researchers use ferroelectrics like barium titanate, a mixed oxide made of barium and titanium. This significantly reduces costs. Tesla does not need to invest a lot of money in professional workers or high-tech machinery to support the production. Therefore, it's estimated that these panels can cost up to 10 times less per watt than modern commercial silicon solar panels. You can expect to pay about $2.21 per watt for Tesla's solar panels before the federal solar tax credit, but this ferroelectric panel only costs $0.22 cents per watt. Previously, you always had to worry about the price of silicon solar panels, while this new Tesla innovation is a great solution for those who can't afford to buy them. But then one has to wonder, how much energy can it actually produce since the price is so low? The US installed 3.9 gigawatts of solar PV capacity in the first quarter of 2022 to reach 126.1 gigawatts direct current of total installed capacity, enough to power 22 million American homes. Solar accounted for 50% of all new electricity generating capacity added in the US in the first quarter. Elon Musk said, Tesla's new cell will change the game because it can generate more energy than ever. To achieve this increase in electrical energy production, the researchers created crystalline layers of barium titanate, strontium titanate, and calcium titanate, which they placed alternatively on top of one another, separating the positive and negative charges in the same photovoltaic device. This arrangement could greatly increase the efficiency of solar panels. However, pure barium titanate, a ferroelectric crystal, does not absorb much sunlight and consequently generates a comparatively low photocurrent. 
The researchers discovered that combining extremely thin layers of different materials significantly increases the solar energy yield by experimenting with different material combinations. This was achieved by vaporizing the crystals with a high power laser and redepositing them on carrier substrates. This produced a material made of 500 layers that are about 200 nanometers thick. In comparison with pure barium titanate, the new photoelectric material irradiated with laser light had a current flow 1,000 times stronger and more efficient, even with a reduction in the proportion of the base element of the mixture by almost two-thirds. The interaction between the lattice layers appears to lead to a much higher permittivity. In other words, the electrons are able to flow much more easily due to the excitation by the light photons. The measurements also showed that this effect is very robust. It remained nearly constant over a six-month period. A large Tesla solar system of 11.34 kilowatts can produce an average of 43 to 58 kilowatt hours per day, equivalent to 1500 kilowatt hours per week. With the ferroelectric cell, don't be surprised when we say that it can produce 1.5 million kilowatt hours per week. The ferroelectric cell development plan is a big step forward for Tesla as well as the renewable energy market. In the future, this cell is predicted to fulfill Elon Musk's ambition to provide electricity for the entire United States. I'm extremely confident that solar will be at least a plurality of power and, and most likely a majority. And I predict it will be a plurality in less than 20 years. A future with more solar energy could open the door to many different use cases. You can integrate those panels into public transport on the road, in your Model Y, and imagine buildings covered with transparent windows that generate electricity. How exciting! So what are the challenges for ferroelectric solar cells? A common problem with thin films is that high temperatures shorten lifespan. For the western states, silicon crystal holds the best position so far. Tesla is working on creating a thin film that can withstand extreme temperatures. Their work promises to be part of a potential revolution in ferroelectric materials, with possible applications in computer memory, capacitors, and other electronic devices. A silicon solar panel can last for 25 years. On the other hand, this ferroelectric cell is relatively new and needs time to be studied in the lab. U.S. President Biden has launched a series of initiatives to spur domestic solar PV manufacturing with 56 million U.S. dollars in new funding. That's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.